Yeah, welcome once again to ASAS, where we make photography videos and music production videos. Today we'll be looking at how to you know, retouch and correct and also color grade your images. Wow, so before I start, I would like to say a very big thank you to those that are supporting the channel out there that are making the channel grow for your comments and your love. I want to say a very big thank you and God bless you all. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You know, I like, you know, editing photo for the first time so that I can know how to go about it. This is not, this is a life, um, should I call it a life? It's the first time I'm always, you know, first time I'm editing this. So uh, what I like to do is I like to make people know, try to make people learn how to, you know, spot um, the errors and try to fix the images because there are some in photos you just see for those beginners and they say ah they just look and feel like there is nothing there to edit actually there is a lot more there to edit but it can just be little it can be uh, a big difference okay okay so those are knockouts everybody celebrating trying to you know, celebrate festive period that is coming Okay, let's get right into it. Now, this image is actually 32 MB. And if you zoom in, you're actually going to see actually some place are uh, not, no details like that, not sharp. But if you're looking from a fight, it's actually sharp. This is because of the um, range they took the shot. So let's get right into it. First of all, I would like to fix the images. Now, if you check the dark part, let's spot the um, problem of the images. There's no details on the darker part. So that is one. And if I check through the wall here, there is, you know, this, um, uh, what should I call it? Something there that we have to remove. That's not making distraction, actually distracting the um, image. And also if you zoom in, you see some, you know, little blemishes and pimples on our face. So we're trying to, you know, get the image look good and correct the, um, problem the camera has actually caused. So the first thing I'm going to do, I want to bring up the details of this, um, uh, of the chair and the, dark, and the dark, darker part of our, uh, of our face. So as we can see, it is how many lights set up? One and two. So we have a light coming from this direction. We also have one coming from our back. So to uh, blend in and remove the shadow. So let's see what we can do first of all to remove to remove that to bring the image up so let's create a cover adjustment layer first of all and let's analyze the curves so you can see over here this place has less uh, bright highlight details why the dark is just full of the image is actually too you know in the darker side which is this range so you can see what i'm talking about <clears throat> now we we'll have to increase this like that till we get you know fix the uh to some extent, no, just don't overdo it. You can see the line here, so if you come out, it's going to expose. You can see our forehead getting uh, clipped. So just a little bit to this side. And then we're done with the curve. So I'll leave it like that. So we have just a quick before and after. So we still have, we still need to, let's check, we still need to bring it up. So just have a little bit details on the dark part. So let's continue. Uh, I'm going to bring it up again with, uh, let's use exposure. Let's bring up the exposure. Should we use the grammar or, uh, let's try. No, bringing up the grammar will make and the exposure. So let's try this one. So I'm going to bring this up somewhere around not too much just where it looks right so remember we need the details of the chair of the um, chair and also some part of our body so just a little bit so I'll leave it somewhere here one point uh, can still bring it up a little bit. So let's check. 
the one of her face so I think it's too bright I'll bring it down a little bit good so I'm okay with this one let's zoom out and let's see uh, so this before and this is after so I'm still going to reduce it just like so so I'm okay I'm going to close it and then I'm going to zoom in so you can see the, the details of the chair and like before it's all you no know, dark and then we have this so let's see what next we are going to do uh, this uh, distraction right here let's try and remove it so <clears throat> I'm just going to create a stamp visible layer control shift alternate E and then we are not actually going to correct anything or use any white balance, but I'm going to turn off these two and then group them. So I turn it off. So from here to here. Now let's go. Let's remove the. Um, uh, okay, the what's it called? Distraction right here. So I'm just going to use frequency separation. After the, after I can use a. Um, clone stamp to spot a link to and just increase the size of the tool brush and then click on it just like so and boom it's gone well I don't want to use that method I want to use frequency separation but let's see is there anything else we can do yeah so even make the picture look okay let me check uh, no, let's go let's go with the one our mind comes to so frequency separation ctrl j twice name this one uh, color I'm just going to be fast with this one name this one um, texture so turn up the texture layer go to the color filter blur Gaussian blur and then just a little bit not too much Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. I want to see it. So, just a little bit. Okay, that would do. Click on OK. Come to the texture layer, turn it on. Go to image, apply image, uh, subtract. Then, color, layer, color. And click on OK. So we've actually separated the texture and the uh, and the skin tone. So now turn this one to linear light, and then we are, we are back with our uh, image. So I'm going to zoom in. Now for the texture layer, we're going to use clone stamp full. For the color layer, we're going to use mixer to brush. Why? For the texture, we're using clone stamp tool. So let's go now I want to remove this one just sample anywhere and then click on it and then it's okay so let's see okay I guess it's not actually textured it's the um, we're just going to blend it with mixer to brush so let's see if that method doesn't work yeah mixer to brush it's gone let's blend those distracting parts of the image so we have no one okay i'm just going to blend this place a little bit okay so let's check the so we have something below i'm going to blend it just like so I'm going to the texture layer, click on the clone stamp to and then alt click. I'm just gonna fix that. So scroll up. Okay, there's nothing more in the image. So let's fix uh, our skin tone. So go to color 
click on the blending and the color mixer too and then okay let's fix the blemishes first i'm gonna decrease the size of the tool brush remember don't this uh and the this in an avoid don't touch that just try and keep the image natural and try and sample close so just like so just little of this thing makes you know makes a difference in the image okay so let's look at our cheek we have just little little to fix and then this one okay so zoom out i'm gonna fix this one it's somewhere that's close okay actually there is no much you know definition a face small I'm gonna leave this one it's part of our body I'm gonna go to our end and then I'm just going to fix okay so this part Undo that. Undo. So that will do. I still have a little bit over here. So just try and fix what you can. You know you can fix. So is there any other part on our ends? Okay, we have just a little bit right here. So keep retouching. Let's see. No, 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 legs. Okay. Uh, now, we are going to fix this place with the uh, color and uh, with the color layer. Sorry, our tune. So let's just try and blend that place. Remember, just a little bit, not too much. So I'll be smooth back over there. Yeah, too smooth skin. If you feel 14 is too much, take it somewhere 10 or 8. So you blend it in with the transition, just like that. So I'm gonna leave it there. I'm going to come to a leg and then I'm just going to blend it also. So try blending our skin together so you can see all those actually changing. Okay. All right. So we still need to brighten those places up. But let's see. Let's finish our frequency separation first. I guess uh, we need to fix that one. So sample and you know, remove so something like that. Let's come down. Then we have just the two touch. Okay, let's see. All right, let's go back and then let's let's see where we need to blend. I just you know blend the colors in. That okay, good.
Okay, so our hands will go. There we go. Also here. It's just to have an even skin tone. You can see this place is just too black. So I'm going to fix all those in no time. Okay. Zoom out and then blend. Okay. Now a face. Okay, so that is that's okay by me. So I'm gonna group the two layers together. That's our frequency separation. Free sep. So let's see the two just before and after. Before and after. I'm going to zoom in and then I'm going to blend this place because I can see some before and after. Before and so we have that. Um, let's blend this side just a little bit. Okay. I think we are okay. I'm just going to blend here also. Okay. Now, uh, is this the loop method of not taking photos? I read some. Um, Okay, our eyes is supposed to be white. Okay, let's just create a stamp visible layer. Shift Control Alternate E. And then turn on the texture layer. So we are from here. We went from here to here. Um, let's see. I just want to try something. Solid color. Click on OK. Turn it off. Zoom in. Then let's look at where we need here needs to be white, so this side needs to be white, pure white. So I'm going to double click and then I'm going to select it. What color did it give us? So something like this. So it's just to correct the image because it already has color grading on it. So now I'm just going to go to uh, divide. There's no much difference as you can see. But it actually corrected the image just a little bit. So from this to this normally act like a white balance kind of so you can see that our cloth now is actually the white part is actually the white part so let's continue I think I like it like this not too exposed but let's take it up is it what if I take the I'm just gonna leave it like the way it is so now I said I want to make adjustment to you know the darker part of our body and so also all this space. So let's see what we can do. Uh, we can use exposure. We can actually use uh, curves. So we still need to use curves. So brighten won't solve the problem. I'm gonna reset that. Okay. So the curves layer just didn't do what I want. It's not doing what I want. I'm just going to delete it. Delete. And then let's go to um, brightness and contrast. So we're trying the tools we can use. 
no so i think we need to go to the exposure tool so we'll go to exposure and now we want this part and this part of our labs and the part of our hand with also the part of our neck to come up so we're not using the exposure we're not using the offset we're using the gamma correction tool so we're just going to take it all the way up somewhere like there yeah i know it's bright okay so 1.8 looks good no that looks blown out just focus on the you know on our arms so it's actually bright now so before and then after so it's actually bright and also down below here not too dark so it's white so we can decrease it a little bit okay let's leave it at one point one point nine now I'm going to remove it from some certain place. I'm going to close that back. Sorry. Ah. Oh. Go back. So, double click to blend the blending mode. I want to remove it from some lighter parts of the image. So, I'm not going to use this layer because this layer is going to just. Let me show you what it will do. It's not just going to see so we need to remove it from the other lane layer which is the picture layer i want to remove it from the brighter side so i'm just going to alt click and then take this slider all the way down okay and then bring this one also all the way if you bring it all the way down it looks like this so i'm going to take it all the way up I want it to look as natural as possible. So I'm just going to take it and leave it. Okay. I'm going to leave it somewhere around here. And then I'll click preview. Let's preview. So we have this to this. So we're going to reduce it just a little bit. Let's increase it just like that. And then I'll click OK. So we have this uh, before and after. Let's see. Okay. So this is before, totally you no know, dark. And then we have this one. So don't worry, we can actually adjust this one after creating a stamp visible, you know stamp the image so i know we've removed both the contrast and every other thing but the image looks brighter now and has more definition so i'm just going to bring back the frequency separation and then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl j and then i'll bring it right on top to bring more details so you can see she has more details on her face hair, and mix is sharper from far so you can see before and then after boom so if you like you can you know remove it from some places you don't need it so let's see I'm just going to leave it or decrease your opacity to 50 even if it creates lesser impact so before and then after just a little bit sharpness let's increase it to 60 okay so we're good now the next thing like i said the exposure if you turn it off we have this too still too dark and then we've corrected you know the exposure of the image so i'm going to create a stamp visible layer again shift control and it's e and then after that I'm going to group all these you no know, and then group them turn it off so from here to here now it's now you know bright and we have more details and texture both on our skin okay so let's do something let's undo that undo 
Let's go back a little bit. Control Z and not where, well, yeah. Now I'm going to create a mask on the texture so that it won't be on the background. I don't want the background sharp because I noticed when I zoomed in, I have all these places noise even on the chair. So I'm just going to um, create a mask and then change the brush to change the brush to to black so, because our, our um, max layer is white. So I'm going to paint over. We have flow. Let's increase the flow first of all to 61, and then we're going to paint and remove those sharpness from the chair and some other areas most especially somewhere there so I don't want it all there So I'm going to zoom in and then also from a shirt, just going to remove just a little, not everywhere. So now we have this, yeah. So we can actually increase and then see what we have. Okay, so we're good with that. I think I like it this way now. Let's see. Yeah, not too much definition, just on our skin. And I'm going to remove it from here also. Yeah, because that place is actually darker. Okay, so we're good. Now we can create our stamp visible layer. Uh, Shift, Control, Alternate, E. And then I'm going to group the image. Group from here to here which is the effect and then we can turn it off so this layer is our uh, now we're almost through with the image so let's try and add a little bit uh color a little bit color then we try to we can actually uh, correct the image exposure now so it won't be like before I don't want it just too blown out or bright. If you don't like it, you can actually remove it. So let's see what we did. From here, we gave a little bit definition. So let's see what's the difference between that and what we have before. So we have this and then we have this. Okay, turn on the group. We have this, okay. And then we have this. So I get I think we need a little bit we need a little bit of this this yeah so let's turn on turn off the black I think we need a little bit of that so after that I'm going to add um, color balance and to give her I already like I already like her skin tone but let's see what we can do let's go to the highlight and then uh, bring down the red on the highlight. Increasing the red mix. Okay, yeah. I think increasing the red. I like the way the. Let's look from afar. Sorry. I want thing about um, the color balance. I think it has an option to say, okay, it doesn't have an option. So let's see. That's the viral image. Wow, we can start color grading that now. So bringing up the red, or bringing down the red, gives a very calm, cool color. But we're gonna do that later. I just wanna add a little bit skin tone. I said highlights. Okay. So let's see, should we bring up? So I'm uh, doing our uh, color grading already. Okay. 
Okay, let's go to the mid tone. You know, just focus your eye on the image and not the slider. This looks too brief. I don't want that. I want the real color of our skin first before I start you know, adjusting anything. So I'll leave it there. Let's move the blue. Okay. I think I like it like this. But bringing it up brings more yellow. I don't want yellow. I want just the calm blue color feel. Let's go to the shadows. Should we? Blue? Yeah. I like the blues the more. No, I don't want that. I want something exceptional. Blue. Cool. Uh, yeah, let's... I'm not going to increase the red. Increase red. Increase red. Oh, come on. All are just so beautiful. But I want a uh, color to be different from the background. So I'm just going to increase the blue um, cyan. The green. Okay. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Sometimes it's very hard for you to choose which one. Uh, depends on the subject and the background. So, I think I'll just leave it somewhere around minus three. Or somewhere here. So, I have a cool. So, let's turn it off. Oh, not again. Sorry about that. Uh, the blue skin keep popping on. So I have something cool. Okay. So let's see uh, color grade from this to this. Cool. Let's add a um, little bit vibrance. So first a little bit. 16. Sometimes I don't feel the effect of this vibrance of the team. Okay. It's too much. I can see that from the background, the red background. So just a little bit of it. Okay, so we're true with the image. We're true with the image. Actually edited it. We can actually use curve to create more contrast. So you know the normal X team we normally do. Now you can see that the focus of the um, curve is now close to the middle, unlike the beginning where we have. Let me just show you the beginning where we have. Let me create uh, the curves. You see the, the, the histogram. The, and this thing is actually more at the darker side than the lighter side. Why for this? It's now at the you know middle, telling you oh yeah, you're getting there. So I'm just gonna increase this to a little bit to get more contrast. Yeah, beautiful. I feel it's too much. Is it? Is it vibr? Okay, not the vibrance. Just a little X curve, so I'm just going to decrease its opacity to somewhere around 50 or 60. Let's see. Yeah, so this is okay. This is okay. Oh, I might even increase it more. Okay, so I like it there. So what else do we need? I think we need nothing. So this could be my first you no know, color grading, and I could add another one if I like. So same thing, um, color balance, and then I think that um, cyan feel. I really love it. This one, and then this one. Just feels cool. No, I think uh, I added blue, little bit of blues. Yeah. This feels 
so cool. Let's try it from the highlight also. Okay. Then added a little bit of blues. Yeah, something like this, yellow on the highlight, magenta or green, no, take magenta, let's go to the shadows, we add green, let's just leave it there, wow, I just like, you know, the color grade, oh, not again, Okay, so I'm just gonna turn it off. See, so I have this. I'm gonna create a stamp visible layer from this place E, and then I'm going to group the effects from here. Shift to this, shift to the one, turn it off, and then let's see our before and after with this this is nice color grading i like the um, effect you can also decrease it to 50 percent yeah so i have something like this okay so i'm going to do ctrl j and then i'm going to blend match this one so <clears throat> let's see so where we came from we're actually through with the editing uh let me close the frequency separation turn this one turn this one and then i'm delete this curve layer we created first so went from this oh to this still dark to this coming up to this we have brought out the um, light skin and then we added this color, beautiful color grading and uh, another color grading. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, just have um, the light is gone. So, uh, we'll see you in our next video. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you like, what we share on our channel please subscribe if you are new to the channel subscribe uh, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section so once again thank you very much don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe all right have a nice day love you all